I am Anthony van Liefland from Holland. Since my childhood, I have a big fascination for the G-Class. I'm a big collector and or specialist only in the G-Class. I have approximately 18 vehicles in my private collection. And nowadays I still train only the G-Class. We're here in uh, Amstelveen, Holland, where my G-World uh, is located. There are about 14 here. And uh, well, as you can see, there are a lot of many different ones. G-Class was very early in my life. When I was nine years old, so I learned to drive, first on my father's lap uh, in the G-Class. He was working for Mercedes-Benz Holland. In 1979, when the G-Class was introduced, he was responsible to sell the G-Class to the dealers and to promote the G-Class in general. We always came along and we could enjoy always uh, driving the car as well. We went to many off-road events, so we had lots of space to maneuver and to learn the capabilities of a G-Class and as well the driving skills. Learning how to drive a car, in this case the G-Class, was especially more fun because as a young boy, what's more beautiful to take a car, the G-Class, out in off-roading and going through mud holes or water, just play around with it, up hills and everything. The fascination of the G-Class for me is actually because the vehicle has many capabilities, or yeah, let's call it the diversity of the vehicle. This is the first G that I bought in 1989. It's a 300 GD 5-speed from 1985. I've had a, yeah, a lot of experiences with this vehicle and a lot of fun. We went to Belgium, to France, to Italy, uh, Austria, Switzerland, Germany. Uh, I've done a lot of mileage with this car. Yeah, that's where the the collection started, actually. This is another favorite of mine. Uh, it's the G55 AMG compressor from 2004 with uh, 476 horsepower. One of the meanest Gs that I have because the engine is really amazing. If I have a sad day or not a good mood, I take this car, start the engine, and the smile comes on my face immediately. lucky enough to uh, to be able to buy a first G-Class when I was almost 19 years old. I was a student and I went to work in a well-known restaurant in Amsterdam as a valet parker and I did this in one evening and I got very very good tips so I made a proposition that I would work six days a week at the restaurant and this paid off uh, literally very well for me as a young student and that's how I had my starting capital to buy a G-Class. The feeling when I was able to buy my first G-Class was very special because I've made many experiences with the G-Class already thanks to my father. So I was feeling blessed and very happy of course because I used to drive it, now I could buy my first one. Well, this is another one of my favorites uh, among the others. It's the Edition Pua. It's from 2009 with a V6 CDI diesel engine. As you can see, it's very basic. That's what I like. It has the same features as the first G-Wagon in 1979. It looks similar. It has a reinforced hood. It has a special roof rack, strong mirrors. Made a lot of good experiences with this one as well. And the most remarkable one was with a white one that I had in, uh, in the Sahara in the desert. It's very fascinating to see the G maneuver through the dunes. It's really uh, very impressive. When I was 24, I started to buy the first G for trading. I developed there was a lot of potential and a lot of demand for the G-Class. I could transmit my passion towards other people that were curious or interested about it. So I started the company G-Center. 
We were worldwide the only one that were specialized in the G-Class. We were a small team, but it was really a sort of a family. And since then, uh, the passion for the G-Class continued. Well, the reason I, I, uh, I sold the company G-Center is that uh, we worked almost six, seven days a week. We were very, very busy. So it was a big turning point, but it turned out very well because I had more time for myself. I became more independent. I had more time to enjoy uh, life and the G-Class. We're at the garage of my friend Raymond. He's also my navigator in uh, my Rally G. Uh, we're just doing some final checkups, uh, check the shock observers and uh, oil inspection of the axles, and then we should be ready to go. Thanks to running the G-Center for many years, my technical skills improved very much as well. I've learned this just by doing, and nowadays uh, I do rallies, and if something breaks down, I almost can fix quite, quite a lot of things myself. The next rally now is in Holland. It's going to be flat, unfortunately, but it's going to be very wet because it's typical in Holland. But it's, uh, it's, it's good to see uh, the other friends uh, and have fun uh, playing around with our cars. So. tendency to find new or quicker ways to overcome obstacles or to be quicker and it's a challenge between the machine and myself. It's a lot of fun, it's a big chemistry between the car and yourself. The car has proven several times that it is really so reliable. After one day of rallying, we park the car, we turn the engine off, we wipe the windows clean. Other people need to change and repair things, and we can relax. The feeling that I developed with the G-Class is very intense because it gives a very secure feeling as well. I have a very warm connection with the G-Class, and it's like it's part of my life, and it will never leave my life as well. <laughs>